So we've cut our window box opening. We've made it three inches bigger because the pro box is an inch and a half on each side. Total three inches. So we made it three inches wider to fit our window box, which goes in here. Now that we've cut it, made our window box and prefabricated it, we're going to bring it in. But the first step is to make sure your rebar is completed. We've already put it in. That's our vertical 10M every 16 inch on center. And then horizontally, we have two 15M. That's up to your code and local um, uh, governing body. Okay, we prefabricated our window box to, to fit our RO, which was uh, three inches wider than the Pro box. So we're going to slide it in. Before you do that, make sure you have all your rebar in. We have two 15M horizontal and our vertical bars under it. And then you can place your window box. Now we're going to pick it up. around and up to it. Continue our rebar perimeter around it and that's really it. This is the best way to go because it creates a, a, a nice a nice place to kind of terminate your, your cuts into and you don't have to worry about this being unsquared or fabricating it inside uh, the wall. Definitely better to make a prefabricated window box because you know it's square and it's easier to install. And you can tell it's already supported, ready to go. We have our window cutouts for our concrete. When we pour our concrete, we can put the, the pump right in there. We can vibrate right in there, make sure it flows right under the window. If it's not enough and you have a stiff mix, you can just cut out more during your pour. So that's a good tip to do. Go bigger than five by five, six by five, whatever works for you. On top, we're gonna to put two 15M bar and then our last course. ProBuck installs quickly and efficiently and saves builders time and money. To begin, cut the end interlock off one of the ends of the first piece of ProBuck. Cut the first side panel to size. The offcuts become the start of your next piece. Simply attach the offcut to a new piece using the interlock on the ends. Then cut your next piece to size. With ProBuck, you'll always have next to no waste. If picture framing is required, use 4-inch screws to screw wind devils into ProBuck's internal flanges, which are conveniently located every 8 inches on center. This form of picture framing is unique to ProBuck and does not have to be removed after the pour, saving you even more time and money.